It's time. Welcome to downtown Rapid City. Hey everybody, it's Tristan Eamon with Mindful Living Realty, a realtor right here in Rapid City, South Dakota, the gateway to the Black Hills. So of course, downtown Rapid City is the home for everything services, lawyers, banks, accountants, all those kind of things are downtown. But let's look at some of the fun stuff around downtown. Okay, for the purposes of this video, we're going to define downtown as Omaha Street to the north, West Boulevard to the west, Columbus Street to the south, and East Boulevard to the east. Now we'll meander a bit over here to Memorial Park, but for the most part, this is where we're hanging. The number one thing you could go downtown Rapid City for is the food. Some of our local restaurants are amazing, highlighted by Tally's, Delmonico Grill, Sabatino's Italian, Firehouse Brewing Company, and Que Pasa. And the right weather, sit on the roof at Que Pasa. I mean, what a place is called the mud hole. Gotta try it out, right? This is the place to go out here for biscuits and gravy. Plus there's a variety of other restaurants and ethnic choices. But don't sleep on some of the bars for food, such as Independent Ale House for pizza, and I love the steak salad at Murphy's Pub and Grill. There's some good grub at Thirsty's too. If you're looking to just knock back a few, there's Hay Camp, Wobbly Bobbly, and the Firehouse Winery. One of the bright spots in our community that's behind me is the Four Creole Cafe. Not only can you get your own food there, great lunches and stuff, they'll do some catering for your events, but they also give food out to the hungry and you can pay forward for another person's meal. And let's not forget ice cream at Armadillo's and Chubby Chipmunk Chocolates. For coffee, you can always start at Starbucks. One of the first places downtown you should go for coffee is Pure Bean. Located in the historic Creamery Mall, it's got a really cool atmosphere that features local art, plus they also have events like painting classes, improv, and so much more. There's also Essence of Coffee and Heritage Oak. Sit in a VW. Another amazing thing about downtown Rapid City is its unique stores and shops. From comic books to organic food, downtown Rapid City is a great place to explore. It's highlighted by Prairie Edge, where you can find original Native American pieces and so much more. Plus there's Victoria's Garden Flower Shop and ONA Farmhouse. The hub of downtown, Main Street Square. Not only is Main Street Square a great place to hang out, it has events all through the year. Plus the grass and fountains, Turn into an ice rink in the winter. At the shops at Main Street Square, get your hot chocolate at Alternative Fuel and your specialty ice cream at Silver Linings. There's also local stores such as Who's Toy House, Roman Around, Travel and Adventure Gear, and Mitzi's Books. Rapid City is the only city in the world with presidents on every corner. The presidents are laid out on almost every corner in downtown Rapid City with every effort to have no preference to political party or popularity. While you're downtown, check out a movie at the historic Elks Theater. Test your painting skills at Canvas to Paint. See if you can get out of one of the Black Hills themed escape rooms. And check out Press Start Arcade. Get prizes for your little kids upstairs at the ticketed games. And then grab quarters and go downstairs for your old fashioned arcade in the basement. Downtown is also the public library and the YMCA. Yeah, you know I had to sing that. North on 6th Street across Omaha Street is the promenade leading to the Monument Civic Center. Here you'll find gardens and flower beds, memorials, Rapid Creek, and Legacy Commons Park, a newer park where playgrounds built for kids of all ages. And I do mean all ages. Right next to the Monument Civic Center is the first of a hotel option in the downtown area, and that's the Holiday Inn downtown. There's also the historic Hotel Alex Johnson to give you an idea of just how historic the Alex Johnson was here before Mount Rushmore was even started. And finally, there's the Rushmore with South Dakota themed rooms, Enigma Restaurant, and 445 Martini Lounge on the street level. These tables are sitting right here beside the road because every Thursday night, there's a band playing on a stage right there. Thursday night's downtown, free band, beer garden, dancing, things for the kids to do, food to eat. Come on down Thursday nights in the summertime. Other local music venues are the Cave Collective, Music at Abbey's Feed, and the Performing Arts Center, which is a theater in the original Rapid City High School.
There will also be live music in many of the coffee shops and outdoor spaces around downtown. Art Alley is one of the premier places downtown between 6th and 7th streets. And uh, right now they're working, as you can see the road close behind me, they're working on bearing all the cables up, up there and I think probably adding some lights just to make it a lot more of a friendly looking place. But you can see lots of graffiti art throughout the whole place. Changes all the time, really cool. If the arts and museums are your thing, we've got you covered. Check out the Doll Fine Arts Center with its free display that changes periodically. Dakota Drum Company, Suzy Kappa, and other art galleries around town. Don't forget to look up and check out the amazing historical architecture, buildings, and signs throughout downtown Rapid City. And finally, stop and take a picture with the many murals, signs, and paintings around town. Now, it's time to go driving. All right, we're heading into town from I-90. This is 190, it'll just drop us right off at Omaha Street, just on the corner of downtown. This also is the exit just coming up here to get to Civic Center and Central High School. And you can see in the distance straight ahead of us, that's Highway 16 going straight up out of town towards Mount Rushmore. Off to the right here is the Executive Golf Course. It's a, I think it's a three par, basically putting golf, uh, golf course. I think the longest one there is about 250 yards or something. It's a fun course. Nine holes. After one, um, after 190, turns into West Boulevard. So this is the west end of downtown. Goes from West Boulevard to East Boulevard. Surprise, surprise. It's kind of like 10th Street to Zeroeth Street. Two one-way streets here. Main Street goes towards the west and St. Joseph Street goes to the east. Straight ahead of us is the West Boulevard District. That's where a lot of the historical homes are. It goes up for a number of blocks and is a really pretty neighborhood with a walking path down the middle. Uh, there's a great park up there as well. That's where the rich people lived back in the day when Rapid City was first first getting started. So you've got a lot of turn of the century, basically mansions uh, from that time frame, but basically just huge turn of the century homes, uh, really cool homes up that way. If you wanted to live near downtown, that's your best option for a home that's within walking distance of downtown. Downtown not only is the hub for your banks, your services, uh, investments, all that kind of stuff, uh, but also has some great unique shops, local restaurants, and up here at 7th Street in the summer, every Thursday night, they're gonna block off this street going 7th Street here, and they'll have a free band playing with Beer Garden. Summer nights in the summertime. Oh, I love the trees down through here, historic buildings. Lots of murals everywhere. This Hardee's is really the only like fast food restaurant downtown. Everything else is uh, local.
As we get to the other side of 5th Street, between 5th Street and East Boulevard, uh, it's not quite as popular spot of downtown. From 5th to West Boulevard is kind of more the main downtown area. Uh, coming up to the right here, we've got the Pennington County Courthouse. County buildings. When you go register your car, this is where you go. We are seeing some new development here, so we've got some new apartments finally going in uh, to the downtown area. Not a lot of apartments at the moment, and maybe many apartments you don't want to be in, uh, but we've got some good new stuff being built right now. And they're gonna have some retail on the bottom, it looks like. If you keep going down uh, east, uh, ooh, wow, can't talk right now. If you keep going down St. Joe, you'll run into School of Mines campus. Here is the post office on the side of downtown. This cool purple building over here is called the Ascent Center. Ascent Center, is that what it's called? I can't remember what it's called. But it's a newer building and that's where the, uh, basically the city of the Chamber of Commerce works out of. And they have a lot of cool things in it. It's kind of an incubation center for the School of Mines projects. So they've got, in the back, they've got some places for a new business to kind of study their new uh, technology, see if it works and create a business out of it. Really cool building. Uh, really cool what they do right there. Nope, yep. fire department's doing the thing. After the drive through here, I'll highlight some of my favorite places, some of the really cool places. There it is again, cool places in downtown Rapid City. Coming up on the right is Main Street Square. That's the hub of a lot of the events and activities around town. We got a lot of people in there playing the fountains right now. Really cool space. We're going to keep heading south to so a couple streets just to the south of downtown. And that would be Quincy, Columbus, and what's the other one? Wow. Quincy, Kansas City, and Columbus. That's the three. Woof da. Must be too early in the morning for this.
These few streets appear to also see more churches. More historic buildings. And mostly uh, offices and services. Shout out to my friends, the Millers, at the Flatiron Recording Company. They're just right there. We just passed them. Uh, they have the rock band where a lot of you get your kids together and play in a rock band. Uh, and I'm taking some drum lessons with them. So it's a kind of a cool place for my, my friends, the Millers. More banks. Library on the right. Up on the hill to the left, you can see Dinosaur Park. If you keep taking this road straight, that's going to take you up to Skyline Drive, which will show you the uh, both sides of the city, west and east. I love West Boulevard. It's a really cool area. See some of the bigger homes up here. There's actually some condos up here to the left that I don't know if I've ever seen come available on the market. It's the only condos in downtown that I'm aware of. This is the original Rapid City High School building. Rapid City Central back in the day. It's now Rapid City, called Rapid City, actually called Rapid City High School, and it's kind of an alternative high school for uh, the, uh, the, I'm not sure what to call it right now.
All right, so let's now pop down over to East Boulevard and go down Omaha Street to get that edge of downtown Rapid City. All right, back down East Boulevard. All right, we're getting, getting to East Boulevard and Omaha Street. If you keep going straight down here, you'll land. This is East Boulevard, which will take you up and around East North Street, where there's a lot of other restaurants and services and shops. And just kind of straight in front of us, across the ridge right there, is uh, Breadroot. That's where your organic uh, supplies and groceries are. Uh, kind of your the Rapid City alternative to Whole Foods. Omaha is the busiest street running east and west through Rapid City. It's kind of the main road through. City School and Administration Building is off to the left here on the corner of 5th in Omaha. So if you have your building permits you need to get, uh, all everything that the city requires, that'll be there in that building. Uh, and then of course anything you need to do with school admin will be there as well. Oh wait, the school moved out into a different building. That's right, so that should be just city, city building right there. See M Hill up in the distance, they're actually replacing the M. It was kind of beat up and cracked, so they're redoing that. Off to the right, we, that's where you get to the Monument Civic Center and uh, Holiday Inn downtown. There's a cool Legacy, park, Legacy Commons Park. And off to the left is just your general uh, right, restaurant malls and businesses.
and that'll do it for the drive around. Well, I hope you're happy. That took a little bit of time to put that together. Plus, I was out walking around downtown in near 100 degree weather. But worth it for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Have an amazing day, everybody. And remember, love where you live. <laughs>